and as I know it is yours, it's like, we don't want you to have to go to a therapist once a week for the next 10 years because then you're just still dependent on this outside thing. Like we can work on dealing with some drama, some detachments. We can give you tools and these things. And yes, we're here. We're not your family now. We're not going to abandon you. You can come and share and, and we'll have the parents come and share things that are going on in their relationships and their families. And, yeah. and, and that's, it's really cool because you, it's community. It's coming back it to is. that community. I wanted to ask you though, before I forget, um, I'm real curious your perspective on this, given your background. Do you feel like sometimes therapy can be reinforcing a negative behavior, which is focusing on your past or things that you are frustrated and unhappy with in your life all the time? Yeah, absolutely. And again, I'm not knocking therapy because there are amazing therapeutic resources out there. And there are there are therapies that can just kind of keep you going. And if you're not seeing, if you're in therapy for five years because your therapist is your go-to person where you can dump, you can vent, you can air, and then you can keep moving and your life is great. 